direct and authentication bypass and automatic Newspack extended access. Okay, so the issue identified is that the user can bypass the sign-in flow and authenticate as an existing account um, with some constraints. This can't be executed against an admin account, but it can be executed against other roles with privileges such as shop manager account. Um, the user can also bypass registration flow and create accounts with arbitrary details. Um, Newspack Extended Access works by providing a rest endpoint for um, user registration and login based off the provided credentials from Google Sign In. Google provides these details in a JWT format and here we have the login or register Google account which decodes the JWT, extracts the provided data um, and then signs the user in. You can see there are some checks in place such as preventing sign in to an administrator or editor role. That is not an exhaustive list of privileged roles within WordPress. Um, so passing on from there um, and passing some additional checks um, the user can be authenticated. The additional checks include that the user was initially registered via this flow. So it's quite a, a big mitigation. Um, however, it's conceivable that a user registered via that flow would then be promoted to an elevated role. And regardless, using this attack, we can access the private data of the targeted account. So there is I think um, information disclosure here. Okay, so the problem is this doesn't validate the JWT's signature. It simply accepts the provided data. And that means that the user can supply arbitrary details and uh, claim ownership of a known email address um, of an account. So let's try a quick demo. Um, we have a site installed locally actually I'll show you the um, so here's our here's our WordPress site um, we're at wordpress.lando.site we've got a target account target at example.org which is uh, registered as a customer um, this person's already come and signed in via the Google sign in process it's a light themed Chrome window we can see that I'm not signed in uh, I'll just the WP admin URL to confirm that. So we're not signed in here and we're able to browse the site. We're able to browse the site and visit an article page like this. Great. We're unauthenticated. Um, we need to get into this site. And we'll do that by generating an unsigned JWT. Um, this website lets you make JWTs easily. So we'll provide our email of target at example.org. This isn't significant for us. Um, great. And we'll take this JWT back to the website. We will pop open the console. Um, we can ignore those existing error messages. And we're going to say that token equals our new token. And we're going to um, reference the endpoint of the registration functionality from that extended access plugin. So the Google register endpoint. And then we'll make a fetch request providing that JWT with the email address of target at example.org um, to that URL. Ah, I keep keep dropping this in console notice. Um, so what we got there was a request against the registration endpoint. We can see we've got a 200 response back um, and 
now if I visit WP Admin, instead of seeing a sign in page, I can see the information of that account. Uh, if there were orders, I might be able to see them. And in the account details, I can see information which wasn't available to us before I bypassed. Um, there we go. So, um, yep, I previously unauthenticated browser windows, now authenticated, and I can see personal data.